When you start an Archiframe project, it is important to make sure that your data folders are defined correctly. This ensures three things. Firstly, you will have access to Archiframe's updated features. Secondly, your own settings can be preserved when Archiframe is updated. These include, for example, custom element definitions and corner types. Thirdly, sharing your element definitions and other settings is easier when your data folders are well organized. In this video, I will first go through the concrete steps you need to take to define these folders. Then I will explain in more detail why the folders must be defined in this way, using a few examples. To check your data folder definitions, open the Archiframe settings. Here you will see two different data folders whose locations you can define, the main data folder and the user specific settings folder. The location of the main data folder should be C slash Archiframe slash data. Note that you should select this folder manually instead of checking the default box. Meanwhile, the user specific settings folder should be a customized file path that you have created yourself. To create your user specific settings folder, start by opening the Archiframe folder in your file explorer. Open the samples folder and from there copy the folder base to the main Archiframe directory. Then rename this folder according to the name of your company so that you have data my company own. I have already made two user specific folders for this demo called data Haiti own one and two, so I will use those and delete the folder I just pasted. Finally, return to the Archiframe settings and define your new folder as the user specific settings folder. Why did we create these two folders? The main data folder should be left with a non-custom file path because this way it will be updated automatically whenever Archiframe is updated. Updating the folder is important because some of Archiframe's new features are stored in its files. For example, the latest Archiframe update introduced the option to add colored fills into your sections. The cut fill settings are stored in the Archiframe elements file, which is located in the new Archiframe version's data folder. If Archiframe is not reading the newest version of the data folder, then you will not be able to use the new cut fill feature. On the other hand, the user specific settings folder should be given a custom name because you do not want this folder to be updated when Archiframe is updated. For example, these folders have a custom name, so they will not be overwritten when Archiframe is updated, while the data your space folder will be overwritten. So what settings does the user specific folder contain? Here's a list of its files, which include your own element type settings, your own edge offset settings, and your custom corner types, etc. In other words, all your custom materials and predefined structures are stored here. Therefore, it makes sense that you do not want these settings to be overwritten when Archiframe is updated. Now let's look at sharing your user-specific data folder with others. For instance, you may want to share custom element types and layer offset settings with your colleague who wants to use them in a different project. I have created this custom element type called 42 by 173 exterior and the layer offset shown in this wall. So here is the element definition. There are no other custom element types in my user specific settings folder, so this list is empty. And here's the definition for the layer offsets. Again, these are the only layer offsets I have saved in my user-specific settings folder. And finally, 
The user specific settings folder that I'm currently using is data Heidi own two. Next, I will simulate sharing my user specific settings folder with a colleague. I will do this by opening a different instance of Archicad, where Archiframe is currently reading a different user specific folder called data Heidi own one. So imagine that this Archicad file in folder one belonged to your colleague who now wants to start using the folder two that we were using earlier. The colleague's folder one only contains one custom element type, which is an interior wall. The colleague has two existing layer offsets. Now I will set folder two as the colleague's user specific settings folder. Then I will open the custom element dialog. So now I'm able to see the exterior wall element type. And if I open the layer offsets, I can see the layer offsets that I showed you earlier. Then I'll just quickly demo building a wall with the new element type and layer offsets. So there.